Hello and welcome to Some Arts with Nina from the Somerville Arts Council. Hello. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. It's a beautiful day. It is. It's a, uh, an unseasonably warm uh, mid-October day. Yeah. If we weren't terrified about climate change, it'd be exciting. It'd be gorgeous. Yeah. We'd be out there sunning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it is mid-October and there are some events coming up that uh, the Arts Council has around this time of year. One of them is a deadline for uh, people looking for funding f for uh, if they're artists, uh, individual grants, uh, if they're organizations, then they look for project grants. Deadline's coming up October 15th. Why don't you tell us all about that, Nina? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Somerville is one of the local cultural councils, which is part of the Mass Cultural Council program, where all local towns and cities have grant money that they receive, and then it's our job to give that away to local artists, organizations, like you said, schools. Um, and the mayor of Somerville actually matches that money, and so it's an even larger amount um, that we're able to give out um, to people in the community. We have um, our Arts Council board is in charge of that and they recruit other volunteers to sit on artist panels. And so we have panels for different disciplines and um, all of this money goes out into the community to do really interesting art projects. And Somerville is one of, I believe, five cities and towns in Massachusetts that has fellowship grants. So in addition to project grants where you can get money for a specific project, you can also get money just as an artist doing your work. So just money to support you and your li livelihood as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, to get a fellowship grant, you have to live in Somerville. To get a project grant, you have to be doing, your project has to benefit the Somerville community. And um, there's a lot more information on our website, somervilleartscouncil.org. And you can call our office, ask questions. Um, but it's a really exciting um, opportunity to give money directly to artists to do their work. And as we know, that's something that's very much needed. So mm -hmm. it's an exciting thing that we get to do that and that the mayor supports that as well. And um, I've sat on a few of the fellowship grant panels yeah. in the past. And it's really interesting that it is um, that the that the applications are looked at by artists yeah. which is important Absolutely. so like an artist within the field of right. the applicant yeah. um, and I always think that it's a really great grant for an artist who is starting out f because the grant amounts are they're, they're modest it's small, yeah um, so it but it's a good thing to have on your resume Absolutely. and it's also good to get money. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I think, um, right, for a lot of people, $1,000 or $2,000 is enough to really like move things forward mm -hmm. or pay their studio rent or work on an interesting project. And um, one of the things that's nice, like you said, is it's all artists on the panels. And each of the panels rotates who's on them every year. So we have a different group of volunteers. So even if someone's applied in the past, there's a new panel. You can apply again. Um, it really gives like a different voice each time, mm -hmm. um, which I think is great. You don't want to have the same five people reviewing grants, all the grants every right. year. Right. Yeah. So look out for that deadline uh, October 15th and go to SomervilleArtsCouncil.org for all the grant information. Yep. Excellent. And then uh, coming up on October 20th, yeah. it's the final Summer Streets event of the season. Yeah. Um, and it's on Summer Lab, just right here, right over us. here. Um, it's it's very Halloween, Halloween oriented, very spooky. So, don't freak out. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> I know. Um, that, Tell us all about don't this. Freak out. <laughs> don't that freak out. That should be our tagline. Um, so, Summer Streets Monster Mashup is the fourth of the four Summer Streets that we have every year, um, and it's actually our last festival of the season. Mm -hmm. We still have the Illuminations tour coming up in oh, December, sure. yeah. but basically kind of the end of the busy event season. And um, this year, as you know, the Fluff Festival was on Somerville Ave, mm -hmm. um, which was a new location and a big change for a lot of people. Um, but that's actually a similar location to where Summer Streets is going to be, as well as like extended further up Somerville Ave towards Market Basket. And um, like you said, a lot of spooky events and exciting, like fun Halloween events. There'll be pumpkin carving, both small pumpkins for kids, as well as giant pumpkins. Um, we partner with Artisans Asylum every year, and they carve like 150 pound pumpkins with Whoa. chainsaws. So that's really fun. <laughs> um, I always really like that. Um, 
we have a costume contest that, or sorry, costume parade that everyone can be a part of. So it's, it'll be starting at Park Street and walking its way towards Union Square, and people can just join in. School of Honk leads the parade. It's super fun. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a bunch of good bands, some spooky bands coming. Um, there'll be trick-or-treating for kids and just the usual tabling, music, food. So it's really fun. Um, you know, we hope for not too cold weather. You never yeah. know this time of year, but it can often be like a beautiful fall day. And it's a nice kind of closeout to the event season. So that's 2 to 6, October 20th um, on Somerville Ave, rain date October 27th. Okay. You never know. You never what's know. Happen this you never time. know. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to give a little plug to uh, that date um, and at that location, Somerville Media Center will be there, and that'll be our big launch for Community Media Week. Yeah, that's so exciting. Um, yeah, what so will we're you excited be doing? For so we're going to have a, a tent set up, and we'll have SMC trivia. We're going to um, have a video monitor set up where we uh, have a Community Media Week testimonials that we've been working really hard on, nice. uh, as well as some new promos. Um, you can find out all about the uh, events that we're going to do throughout the week, um, which we have events every day of the week. Wow. Yeah. That's great. It, it's exciting. So we're excited for it. Um, so look out for that at Summer Street's Monster Mash as well. Awesome. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, uh, yeah I think so. Um, and then finally, uh, we need to talk about Nibble Kitchen out yeah. in Bow Market. Yeah. So Bow Market, as probably many people know, is this um, area of small shops right um, over on Somerville Lab that opened a year ago now. And it's a really cool space with a lot of small businesses that are there. And um, Somerville Arts Council has had the Nibble program for a long time where we've supported um, immigrant entrepreneurs mm -hmm. to um, start culinary businesses. and. Um, kind of help them through. Uh, most of them are already very experienced chefs, um, and really our job is to help them through the bureaucracy of the system of getting um, certified, of getting their licenses, of understanding all the health codes, and kind of doing that support, and also helping with recipe development and other projects. Um, so this program has been going on for a long time, and for the last three or four years, we've been looking for a permanent home where we can have our own restaurant where we can vend regularly and not just have pop-ups and kind of give more opportunity to these entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And so this restaurant in Bow Market has been developing for a year now. And it finally opened. Um, last week, there was a soft opening. Um, there'll be a bigger kind of grand opening um, in November. But it, we're open from Thursday through Sunday. Um, um, mo lunches and dinners. Um, Sunday's just dinner, some days lunch and dinner, yeah. um, but over the weekend. And it's a rotating um, schedule of entrepreneurs. So, like, every Thursday night will be one entrepreneur, and then Friday morning, and you know, it goes Very around. Cool. So, I believe there's five entrepreneurs who are kind of in this starting lineup. So, you can go over there. Try their food, give, and you know, since it's a soft opening, we're looking for feedback. So there'll be a chance to give feedback on the food or on the presentation, um, everything. And it's just really exciting. I'm not actually the one who's been doing all the work for that, but my colleagues have been working super, super hard. Mm. And it's a really amazing program, and it's, I think, a great addition to Bow Market. So yeah. that's really cool. And the Nibble program run by Somerville Arts Council has been around for a long time. Yeah. In, in various formats. Absolutely. I know you were involved w in the old uh, foundation kitchen space. Yeah. And then um, you, you um, had like demos at right. various uh, events throughout the year. Yeah. There's been pop-ups. There's been cooking classes at the kitchens that we've worked out about the past. Um, it actually all started with the market tours of Union Square. That was kind of the inspiration for the Nibble program was all of these immigrant-run markets that have these amazing um, ingredients are foods that not everyone would know about um, if you're not, you know, knowing to look for those things. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of really, I think the idea behind Nibble has always been celebrating the immigrant community in Somerville, which we're so fortunate to have here and make Somerville such a great place and making sure as the city changes, um, making sure we're supporting these entrepreneurs as much as possible. Very nice. Yeah. What kind of food um, can people expect? Um, yeah, so many different types of food. Um, I'm not going to be able to list them all, so excuse me. But there's, I know that there's Ethiopian food, mm. there's Brazilian food, um, there's all different types of things. 
I believe, Bengali food. Um, so lo lots of amazing um, dishes. And Those three sound great already. So good. I love Ethiopia. Um, and you might know Las Carolinas, um, mm -hmm. who have been our Nibble entrepreneurs for a long time. Um, they actually just opened a shop up at Aeronaut. So they're selling their arepas over there. Um, but they're also guest vending at Nibble as well. So they're at the kitchen, I believe, on Sundays. Um, so uh, I think a lot of people, if you do know Nibble, you might know them, know us through them, because um, they're kind of one of our uh, biggest success stories through the program. So uh, yeah, lots of amazing food. Um, you can get to the Nibble website through the Arts Council website, or just um, you know go Google Nibble, um, some of our Arts Council. Go to our Facebook or Instagram, and there'll be updates on who's vending which days. and. No, come on in. Cool. Yeah. Very uh, exciting to see the program evolve in yeah, this way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, thank you very much for coming in, Nina. Thank you. This has been great. We appreciate the update and every update that you've ever come in for. Thank you. Um, so um, have a great October into November. And uh, check out Nibble, uh, Summer Streets, Monster Mashup, and get your uh, grant application in before October 15th if you're an artist or you're an organization. So uh, thanks again, Nina. Thank you. And see you uh, yeah, we'll see you around. <laughs>